Welcome back to the Bani Hashim Brigade. In the last video, I talked about how gender and two sexes proved the evolution theory to be a lie. If you have not watched my video, please watch it too. Link is in the description. I got a lot of replies in the comment section in that video, but all dumb replies by the ignorance of atheists. And none of those replies answered the claims I put forth in the video. So I never bothered to reply back to them. In this video, I have another fantastic claim to put an end to Darwinism and atheism and probably you would have never heard this before. Let's begin. You have to know the causes of evolution to understand my disclaim. The science claims that evolution takes place either due to the following four reasons. First one, mutation. That is, a permanent change in the gene of an organism due to factors like ultraviolet rays or inaccuracy in copying of DNA while cell division or addition or deletion of a gene part etc. Second, gene flow. That is, transfer of genetic information from one population to another. This happens when interbreeding of two different populations takes place. Third, genetic drift. That is, a population having a little bit different characteristics from the rest may survive and prevail more than the remaining normal population. And fourth, natural selection. That is, a population with certain beneficial characteristics adapts and survives in the environment while others not being able to survive. You can learn about these causes on internet yourself. If I will explain them in detail, the video will become too long. So, remember these four causes of evolution and listen very very carefully my next sentences. The atheistic scientists proclaimed the origin of all different life forms from the single-celled living organisms. These single-celled organisms had no complex organs and body parts in them. But due to the above four causes of evolution, those single-celled organisms diversified into the different complex living things that we see today. All of them, the birds, insects, humans, animals, etc. And all of this took place over a period of billions of years. This is what they claim. Now we have a problem with their claim, you know. Here is my question to those foolish scientists and their blind followers atheists with the absence of rationality. Animals and humans have sensory organs like eyes, ears, nose, tongue, all having complex mechanisms and the mechanism to speak too. These complex organs were absent in the very first living organisms that somehow appeared on the earth as some ignorant scientists say. These organs are no way needed for the survival of an organism. You can take out eyes, ears, vocals and nose from any organism and they will still continue to survive. In fact, it's scientists only who say that life on earth in the beginning continued for millions of years without these complex organs. And even today we have thousands of organisms surviving very comfortably without these complex organs. So how and why did these complex organs come into existence? Now looking at the above four causes and mechanisms of evolution, None of them lead to the development of these sensory organs in those single-celled organisms or even next generation organisms after them. Let's understand in detail. Let's take for example that single-celled organism. Or else it would be better and easier to understand if we take for example an organism that came thousands of years later but with the absence of eyes, ears, vocals and nose etc. So. We have an organism without eyes, ears, nose and vocals that lives in water or land or air. You can just place it anywhere you want. And that organism does not know what an eyesight is or what vocals are and their advantages or anything. What do you atheists believe? How did that organism get eyesight? And an ability to listen? and an ability to speak. Did it undergo mutation? 
is mutation the fact that led to the development of organs like eyes ears nose and skin well mutations are just genetic copying errors or addition or elimination of a gene thread that lead to unexpected or altered growth of cells in organisms yes mutation can lead to a growth of a particular cell type in an organism at any random location but it could never lead to the creation of a complex mechanism that requires sense to exhibit its function i repeat mutation can lead to a growth of a particular cell type in an organism at any random location but it could never lead to the creation of a complex mechanism that requires sense to exhibit its function take our ears for example even if we accept that there was somehow a mutation that led to development of a completely new type of cells that led to the formation of eardrum at any random location in the body so what this does not lead to the working of ear at all a mutation would just lead to an eardrum at any random location in your body for a complete ear to be working you require hundreds of correct mutations taking place at the same time such that one mutation will produce malleous cells one will produce incus cells one will produce malleous bone cells one will produce malleous muscle cells and so on this is impossible all the specific required mutations taking place at the same time is 100% impossible and after all they all could be at any random location in the whole body even if you say that all these mutations did not take place at the same time and one of them took place after thousands of years of previous ones then too mutations and genes are senseless things who taught them to be in the exact correct places for example who taught the malleous muscles to exactly join with the malleous bones and who taught incus and malleus to be connected in the specific fashion and there are thousands of other examples like these and after 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 all of this anyhow what gave the brain the sense to understand the voice that hit the eardrum this isn't mutation this is bullshit all of this what i said is extremely exaggerated hypothesis even by accepting such extremely exaggerated hypothesis mutation is not able to produce a working functional human ear and even the acceptance that different mutations leading to creation of each cell took place over thousands of years is wrong because we do not find any useless thing just present in our bodies for thousands of years by believing that eardrum just got formed due to mutation and remained as a useless thing in the organism's body for thousands of years you prove yourself to be untruthful otherwise we would have found thousands of useless cells and muscles just floating around in the bodies of different animals just like you believed that eardrum malleous muscles cochlea and all remained after mutation in the organism for thousands of years before somehow getting assembled So clearly mutation could have never led to the development of these complex organs then did gene flow lead to the development of these organs well gene flow would have caused this only if someone else would have had these organs prior to those we took for example then did genetic drift lead to development of these organs Well this was also possible only if a part of population already had a sensory organ but from where and why would a population of complex organless organism develop such high end eyes ears and other organs which are not required for survival did natural selection lead to the development of these organs well this was also possible if the organism had already developed those organs so there is nothing that explains the creation of complex organs except the religious books sent by god atheists 
where was your rationality before accepting evolution from single celled organism as your ancestral history go search for the answers if you can and let me know in the comment section the procedure of we getting evolved from the single celled organisms in the next video i will again prove you the existence of god with another fantastic logical claim do subscribe to my channel for future videos share with your friends and families as there is a growing influence of false scientific claims which is making our children to confuse about the existence of god